Hello again, friends. It's such an honor bringing God's word to you today. And welcome to my quiet time. Well, I want to start off and get straight into it with reading God's word today. Found in Acts chapter 2, verses 2. And I encourage you to follow in your Bibles or whatever devices you're using. When you read, when you see God's word and you hear, your faith goes up. The, the, the word of God says, faith comes by hearing. Hearing the word of God. Amen. Well, let's get into it. Verses 2, right up to verses 4. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a mighty rushing wind. And it lifted the whole house where they were sitting. Then they appeared to them divided tongues as of fire. I want to read that portion again. Verse 3, and then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire, and one sat upon each one of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak in other t tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Amen. And I know you know where all this is going. I want you to picture this. A space shuttle stands on the launching pad in preparation for liftoff. It gets stocked, equipped for its mission. The crew gets daily briefings and training. Launch date has finally come. The final countdown begins. If there's no ignition to fire the rockets to propel the spacecraft into orbit, the mission lies unaccomplished. It's about the fire and the ignition that sets the mission and everything in motion. Oh friends, the same applies in our daily lives today. It's all about the fire of God. The anointing coupled with God's word and the working of the Holy Spirit in our daily lives. What the anointing can do in just one month, and I'm testimony to that, it will take 12 months to achieve in the natural. Friends, I entitled our time together today. Now's the time to have ignition. Now's the time to have ignition. The fire of God and the anointing, friends, will unlock any closed door. And I say to you today, whatever door has been shut in your face, I declare in Jesus' name today, that door will be supernaturally opened under the anointing and the fire of God. The fire of God and the anointing will kill any disease, including COVID-19. Amen. The fire of God and the anointing would set any demonic force on the run. It will lead thousands to salvation. It will catapult your life, your business, your family and ministry to such great heights that people will stand in amazement, friends. They will stand in amazement and in awe at the lightning speed of your transformation. Oh, friends, I have many people that God has allowed me the honor and privilege to witness to. And today, the way they are serving God, all glory to Him, people are amazed. And I encourage you today, never ever feel shy to share God's word. I want you to picture this. We can walk around full of dynamite, but without the flame to spark the explosion, it's ineffective. In fact, it is zero. Oh yes, the dynamite is only potentially dangerous, but it remains just that without fire. Sadly, friends, there are too many people today, yes, in churches, in our community, that are so-called Christians, men and women of the word, men and women that profess to belong to Jesus, that 
involved with this and that and community programs and so on in the name of Christianity. Yes, friends, we can have all our programs, all our events, but if we lack the anointing and the fire of God, it means absolutely nothing. Yes, I read the scripture at the beginning. That's what happened on the day of Pentecost with the coming of the Holy Spirit. And it says in verse 2, suddenly, suddenly, friends, we have to have that suddenly experience to be effective in the kingdom of God. We have to have the fire of God burning and touching us from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet if we want to be effective in ministry. If you and I want to bring change starting in our home, in our communities, in our ministry, in the church that you are in, you cannot do this without the fire of God. I, Friends, I've been there at just a Monday in Christian. Even when I read God's word, it just was just there in front of me. But under the anointing and the fire of God, when I read God's word, when I study his word through revelation from the Holy Spirit, the word comes out of the Bible, comes right into my being get that you got to live the wor word daily what about you friends today don't wait for Pentecost Sunday or any other special church event or wait for a, an evangelist to come from another town to get into a big gathering and then you feel something friends the world needs the anointing and the fire today on you on me where people will start to break the yokes of bondage. That's what this world needs today. The church to be on fire. The members, the congregation to be on fire. It starts off in our homes, in our personal devotions. It moves to wherever you are in your workplace, in your colleges, your universities, even in your businesses. And eventually, when the saints get together, and when the fire of God is present, the movement of the Holy Spirit is there. People leave touched and changed. I'm a living example of that. Do you want the fire over your life? Today, as I pray, I'm going to pray the fire over you. I just want you, wherever you are, get in front of your chair or your lounger or your bed. Stand with your back to the bed. And I'm going to pray for you. And I'm going to lay my hands over the phone, over the airways, over the TV, wherever you're listening or watching from. And the fire of God's going to touch you. And I promise you, your life is never going to be the same again. Come, let us pray. Father, as I raise my hands to your precious sons and daughters, I rebuke the spirits of lukewarmness in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I speak Luke 10, 19, for you gave us the authority to trample over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Oh yes, Lord, and nothing will in any way hurt or harm us. And today I speak the fire of God. As I raise my hands through the airwaves, I speak <laughs> fire into them. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for touching them. From the top of their heads to the soles of their feet, I speak it in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, friends, you've seen the numbers that appear on, uh, on your screens at the top. If you have any questions, if you need prayer, if you need counseling, please dial one of those numbers, text them. We'll call you back. We'll pray with you. We'll counsel with you. Friends, don't forget, without the fire, you're just dynamite loaded, all fully loaded, but no explosion. So until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels praying that you remain touched and changed in Jesus' mighty name. Stay blessed. <laughs>